Hello and welcome to my model railway extension project part 8. I've done quite a bit of work since last time uh, in part 7. Uh, let's focus on this first. I've put a backdrop scene on the right hand side, sorry left hand side of the approach to the station. Uh, and this is from International Models. It's a typical English um, approach to a station. Typical English buildings here. It's rather good. It does make a big difference as you um, look at the layout from a trackside eye view. Now that disappears behind a retaining wall, which I'll uh, talk about just next. Okay, I built this retaining wall. It's a three part kit from Fella with a bit of the Gauge Master tunnel wing added at the back uh, end of the um, incline of the brick wall. Just got to fill in a bit of grass at the bottom there, a bit of foliage at the bottom, but it's rather good this wall. I've also added some backdrops at the top of the wall from magazines I've found. Now that will be filled in in time with various different pictures uh, and photographs of buildings there to fill that in. And it goes on there. And there's some. Um, Terrace scene, terrace house scene, which I've got to continue as and when. They seem to have merged together quite well. But as and when I find them in magazines, I shall add them on the top row there. But all along, this is a styro foam, I think they call it, wall. It's very easy to model. So I've, uh, if you look on my site, I've done a, a, a tutorial how to weather and paint this. I'll just zoom back, it's come out quite well. Just show you here. I've um, done a bit of work on this siding in the uh, uh, side of the marshalling yard. There's a, um, a buffer there. You can't really see this very well, but it's actually got a working little light on there. It's not coming up very well in this light because I've got a, uh, a high vis light on there, so it's not coming out very well for filming. Uh, <coughs> Finished my tunnels now. Um, on the side, I've actually put some limited clearance signs on there to round that off. There from a pre-cut signs are very good. There's one on each side there into the tunnel. I've got to do a bit of what we call flocking and static grass in these areas. I thought I put, I thought about putting a little car park depot there, but. I don't know if there's enough room for that. It might be just bushes and shrubbery and stuff like that, I'm not sure yet. I'll put that on the next video when it's done. <coughs> Down here, I've added two buildings. We've got a works building from Hornby, which is um, a resin painted building, very good. And a shunter's, shunter's mess room here from Backman. Again, a very good resin painted building and it adds to that little scene very well I've also got a little grip box there as well which I've bought from um, Model Zone when they closed down, very cheap for a pound for four so the signings are now coming on really well as you can see There's a shunter film last time. And I'll take you on to the next stage. Okay, on the last video I was um, building these tunnels which are now complete. And on top of here, this was redeveloped from the previous site I did. I've now put the hotel, station hotel, with a rear uh, approach to the station. I've actually put lights in that as well. No, say that. I put lights in there quite a while ago. It's now connected. The little car park there. A bit further up. And I've also got a um, billboard sign, which is quite amusing. <laughs> Only railway enthusiasts will get that. But it's quite funny. But I've covered that space now with a bit of um, foliage and a uh, advertising hood in there. Again, more backdrop photographic scene going on there. 
few cars and I'll uh, show it from the other side. As you can see I've ballasted all this area down here, there's a bit more to do. And I've done a bit of weathering as well. So it's coming on quite nicely, the uh, siding part. OK, I'll just show you the other side of the station approach tunnels. It's come out really well. As I said, I've covered this waste ground here in different shrubbery and foliage. It's come out quite well. Um, that's the rear of the advertising hoarding there. The advert, by the way, is on the side is from Ten Commandments. Um, very good company to deal with. Uh, provide very good adverts as well. This is the front of the station hotel, which has come out just outside the road there. It's a cardboard kit from Super Quick I had made a few years ago. And it's quite a nice model. I've slightly adapted it to what was needed. Got a few ballards here in the front, drain covers, and that's a start sign I've done there. A couple of cars in the car park, and some street lighting there, which I had before by Weisman, which work. There's a little, I think, a telephone um, exchange box for the wiring down there. That was off eBay. The road was a printed road from Scale Scenics, which I downloaded. Uh, I've added the lining, the white line on the road by just pencil, basically. It's come out quite well. There's a little bit more fencing to do around the tunnel entrance there, which I'll put up. But all in all, it's come out quite well. A little shrubbery area there, it's overgrown. A bit of fence in there. The fencing's by Will's Kits, I think, or Ratio, which is a spear fencing. But I'm quite pleased with that. I've used off cuts of the um, gauge master brick wall thing which I didn't need to complete the other side there, it's come out quite well there you have it I've done a bit more on the river section uh, gone a bit further with the uh, cliff edge, I'll call it that and I've put a dry stone wall in here, this is resin which I've slightly covered in flock and static grass which has come out really well. There's more fencing to do next to the truck, obviously. And I've also got this derelict farmhouse, which is from Hornby. And I quite like this. It needed a bit of static grass around the bottom there. It's all boarded up. Probably vandalised as well. And for the rigours of time, slate's missing. There's also a um, host house barn next to that. Part of the roof missing. Let's take it around there. A bit of um, groundwork around there as well. There's a bit more to do on this bit, but I've static grass and flocked the whole whole area where it runs up from the river on both sides. I'll show you now the back of the abandoned farmhouse from Hornby. It's a very good model actually. Stay down. There's a bit of fencing to do, obviously near the track, and that's the oast house there. A bit of shadow over it. And then it goes into the side of the marshalling yard. And back down into the tunnels towards the approach of the station. Okay, on the truss bridge here, I've put a couple of signs down here from pre cut signs. Uh, lots a bit bright on there at the moment, but um, these stand for no refuge point, i.e., there's nowhere to go if a train comes at the side of the bridge, which there isn't, there's no room at all. So if a train's coming for maintenance workers, don't be on the bridge. <laughs> just show this signal here which I've added for the outer track to go into the shunting yard it's a uh, shunting signal from CR signals uh, I've put an arrow on there as well from pre-cut signs to indicate it's from that track basically I'm balance the camera um, two white lights when it's clear for the route, a red and a white one it's not. 
It's on a little concrete type plinth, which is made of plastic. But uh, that finishes that up really well when you go into the tunnel area, which you can't see. The other side, that goes straight into the yard. The points are changed there. That's an ideal. I'll have one, one or two more of those, I think, with the other side. It's coming on quite well there.